Not much activity is happening at Oshimbingwe, a small settlement in the Arongo region. Along the settlement's main dusty road is the shop and bar, the only place where the youth can keep themselves busy. The only employment opportunities in this once historically bustling place, which is now a poverty settlement, are government institutions. The clinic, the settlement office, the national police and two schools, of which the De Palm Secondary School is one are the other prominent structures. The secondary school recently advertised two positions for cleaners and after due recruitment processes were followed, two successful candidates were identified as suitable for the positions. But the two successful cleaners are not from the settlement and this has angered this former cleaner and members of the community. They are crying foul and want the positions to be put on hold. We want to see the score sheet of the interview panel. We want to know why the principal is involved in the lower positions interviewed. We want to know why the interview panel is not mixed with other ministries around in Ochimbingo for transparency. We want to know why two ladies who overnight at the principal's house are the only potential candidates. Gasoline Wirab has been a volunteer at the school since 2014. She started off as security officer and moved up to the rank of a cleaner and later was a supervisor at the girls' hostel. She was found to be unsuccessful for the cleaner post. She was told that she failed her oral interview. My wish is to also work for the government. But even if they found me to be unsuccessful, they could have at least considered this young woman from Oshimbingwe. It is very painful to see people from other towns coming to occupy these positions, while unemployment is high here. The group says many people after getting appointed are not comfortable to live in the rural area and after they complete their probation, they request to be transferred to urban areas which results in locals being called back to assist until the position is advertised and a new recruitment process starting afresh. Are we not human? We also want to be recognized. We want to be heard. We want to be helped. So our local leadership must also take a stand and speak out against such things. The school's principal, Esther Yomba, accepted the petition and promised the group that she would forward the petition to the regional inspectorate. Contacted for comment, Erin Frida Stefanis, the director of education in the Arongo region, says that her office was not aware of the concerns raised by the residents and promised to investigate the matter. <laughs>